I think that the fact that 3,000 plus people woke up, went to work, why should all these people die? Even now, if I go to New York, for me there's still a void. Even though there's the new building, I think for most New Yorkers, when they look uh, the, at that area, they feel a void. There's, we're still looking to find the two twin towers. My name is uh, Panayotis uh, Kiprianou. Uh, I was born in Cyprus, but I'm an American citizen. So during September 2001, I was working uh, at a company right across from uh, Battery Park on 17 uh, State Street. Actually, that day started a little bit strange because I overslept, so I was a little bit late. So when the planes hit the buildings, I was uh, in the subway. What I remember is that I was looking one way and then I heard this roaring sound and then I turned and then that's when I saw the first building uh, collapsing. I was on Broadway Avenue, uh, standing at that point close to the Red Cube sculpture. Uh, so I was very close. So I heard that sound and, uh, and it was a split of a second for me and that's what it that's what I thought it took, that the whole building collapsed. It was this huge uh, cloud coming towards us, and then everyone started running. And I was wondering what to do, and you know, you take decisions, split of a moment. So I started running towards my office as well. The streets were filled with people uh, screaming and all that stuff. And then I went to Battery Park and we were all dusted, of course. And I have these vivid uh, images of people in shock, standing there, not knowing what to do. Uh, especially I have this image of, it was a lady, red dress, barefooted. She was standing there shaking. People were trying to ask her to move, uh, help her. She couldn't move, she was frozen there. Anyway, that was the second building that crashed. We saw again the second cloud coming down Broadway. It was like a Stephen King movie at that point. You thought there was a monster coming towards you. So we all started walk walking. There was thousands of people on the streets. We passed through Chinatown and the people there were holding like the hoses with the water and giving us water too wash our faces and clean up a little bit. Uh, people were like uh, coughing and couldn't breathe uh, with all the dust. And it took us a while we crossing the bridge. Even crossing the bridge, there was an incident. I think there was a person that was shot. that was trying to drive away and there was police cars chasing him. And we all thought there was another terrorist. I was going to blow up the bridge. People started running back towards Manhattan. I started running towards Brooklyn. And I always remember passing by with the train from that area, and you could actually smell death. For months after that, we used to go to work, and we have to pass through that area. And uh, that's when they had the walls with the pictures of the missing people. And it reminded me a lot of the case in Cyprus with the missing people uh, when I was growing up as a kid and uh, so it, it brought back other memories uh, as well so it's it was a very I will never forget that day even when I I think I will take it to my grave